You have just a few more days to savor the flavors of the Rainy Street Food Park. The businesses officially closed their doors after the weekend, making way for new development there. And as KXAN's Amanda Brandeis explains, it's not the only big change coming to that area. For Rainy Street regulars, it's the end of an era. We are about to move. Somber mood. You can tell everybody's, everybody's kind of scattering, trying to find out where they're going to go. This has been a good location for us. While they knew the day would come, it doesn't make leaving any easier. It's a little bit nostalgia, I guess. Definitely think it brings character to Rainy Street, and that may be part of what's leaving, unfortunately. Moving into the food park, a 35-story condominium. And as these businesses prepare to move, others in the area say their days are numbered two. What's going on, guys? Brian Robbins' bike shop sits on a nearby plot of land on Cesar Chavez. Well, what brings you here besides the weather? But how much longer they'll be there? We have no idea. We're month to month, and we've been told for the last six months it could be any month. More development will be moving in. How'd you do for it being a rental bike? That's why Robbins had change in mind when he opened up, creating Austin's first bike shop in an Airstream trailer. Being this, we can close it up and move it tomorrow. And even if you opened up a brick and mortar shop here in town, there's no guarantee it's going to be here tomorrow. He just hopes the best routes are yet to come. Well done. Amanda Brandeis, KXAN News. And while Rainey is losing its original food truck park, property owners across the street are looking to start up a new one. They hope to get it off the ground by the end of the year. We did some checking, and it may come as no surprise, but property values along Rainey Street have shot up in recent years. In 2011, the county appraised the Bangers property at just over half a million dollars. In 2013, it jumped to nearly $779,000, and last year it was almost $936,000. We also looked at bar 96. In 2011, their appraised property value was more than $450,000. In 2013, it went down about $25,000, but last year, it was more than $534,000.